Welcome uh, to everybody who is attending this, uh, this seminar. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. And uh, well, I, I don't know, I know that there are people from uh, different parts of the world. So good morning or good uh, afternoon or good evening. Here in Madrid, we are at, at 8 p.m. with a warm uh, day. So, well, uh, maybe the sun. The sun is going to change and, and I will uh, take some minutes to change my, my window, or whatever, just to, to, to check that the light is the, the best. Okay, so uh, let's start. Uh, I would like to, to present uh, just a review about canine leishmaniosis, mixing this, uh, uh, the old concepts that still are, are, uh, are maybe uh, useful and also new concepts that, that maybe for you are also interesting. Uh, you know very well that uh, Leishmania uh, is a protozoan that uh, has two different uh, uh, stage. One is in the vector that is called promasticotes and uh, is, uh, has a um, movement uh, with a flagella and, uh, and are in the midgut of the, the, the phlebotomus that are the main vectors, the, these phlebotomine sunflies, that are phlebotomus in the, in the old world and luthomia in the new world. Mm, and amastigotes that are uh, unicellular uh, protozoa that uh, are uh, infecting uh, cells, uh, macrophage mainly, and other, other uh, cells from the mononuclear phagocytic system. Uh, in general, in terms of uh, just the distribution, the geographic distribution of uh, human leishmaniosis and, uh, and canine leishmaniosis here in the map, you can see that there are different species that affect uh, humans that are uh, including um, uh, visceral leishmaniosis with infantum donovani antropica, uh, mucocutaneous leishmaniosis, just more represented uh, in the Americas, Brasiliensis, Mexicana, Ethiopica, uh, Infantum again, that is synonymous to Leishmania chagasi, and also uh, Leishmania uh, cutaneous leishmaniosis that uh, is represented by uh, these different species, Tropica, Major, Ethiopica, Mexicana, and again Leishmania infantum. Uh, for the for the dog, uh, we have uh, some uh, mainly species that the most important one and the most prevalent one is Leishman infantum, but also just uh, in some uh, parts like Israel, Morocco, uh, has been uh, represented, uh, reported uh, cases of Leishmania major or Leishmania tropica. And in South America, the most uh, prevalent one is uh, Infantum or Chagasi, and many other species that also can be uh, shared with human beings. But, well, uh, the importance of this, uh, of, this, uh, mm, uh, of this disease is that it's changing a lot, just in terms of the epidemiological aspects we already know, and also because we have better uh, diagnostic tools, and uh, some, uh, maybe in the treatment, we have not many new things, but uh, also we have much more preventative measures than in the past, in the last uh, three decades, for example. So, uh, you know, uh, or some of you maybe know that sunflies are small insects that uh, are just, uh, uh, has uh, special requirements in terms of bioclimatic conditions. Uh, like uh, they, has, uh, they have their, their maximum uh, daily activity after sunset until dawn, and uh, that means that uh, they need a spe specific temperature rates that are in between 17 uh, to 18 de uh, degrees centigrade and uh, up to 40 uh, centigrade uh, centigrade. But their development is greatly delayed. Uh, Below 10, uh, 10 uh, centigrades and uh, grade centigrades, and uh, for them freezing is uh, is uh, lethal. Uh, they also need a very important uh, percentage of uh, relative humidity, uh, more than 60 percent, 
but uh, in absence of rain or wind. So the, in days, even in, in summertime, in rainy days or uh, windy days, they cannot uh, fly, so they cannot bite uh, their hosts. And uh, the altitudes that uh, they have been uh, retrieved has been uh, just around 1,000 meters or even above. And uh, mm, they are very different uh, from the mosquitoes. Uh, this is very important to remark because sunflies uh, doesn't need water uh, water places for uh, for uh, for breed, like breeding sites. Uh, because the oviposition is done in uh, shady areas uh, with organic, uh, with high concentrations of organic material. That means that they can just live even in arid areas uh, without any type of water uh, water uh, sources. This is a very important difference with the colicids and all uh, all the vector. Uh, for example, for virophilaria or for malaria or for other uh, this uh, uh, other vector bone diseases. So Leishmania is has very specific uh, climatic uh, distribution that is, is related related directly to the needs of this uh, tiny uh, insect. Mm. In, uh, in all over the world, uh, we know that we have uh, important endemic areas and others that are starting to be uh, more endemic, maybe hypoendemic, but are just, uh, this is a good example, like in Europe, but can be translated uh, or extrapolated to South America, for example, or uh, uh, even to Central and North America, things are changing a lot and it, it's, uh, due to many, uh, many global changes. One of the most important things is that we have a, um, a new important cases of, of canine lesmaniosis uh, in, uh, in countries where we didn't find before, like in the center of the north of uh, areas like in Europe. And uh, mainly these dogs are uh, represented by uh, rehoming dogs that are traveling dogs in one part or in the, most of the cases are just representing by um, dogs uh, coming from uh, animal protection uh, shelters uh, from the south of, uh, of Europe, in this case, that are rehoming in, in these new, new uh, countries. Are, maybe they can be negative or seronegative at the beginning or at the starting of the travel, but then they become uh, just a uh, infected or uh, positive and they can be recognized as positive but they they be uh, they were infected of course in the in the countries of origin so that means that we are exporting exporting these cases and this is a very important uh, and uh, just a, a big concern for all the um, authorities uh, uh, sanitary authorities also uh, another important aspect that we are recognizing uh, just for the last uh, maybe uh, decade is that uh, mm, there have been reported some new autochthonous cases in many places where even there are no competent vectors recognized. That is the case of uh, different countries. Uh, you can see different uh, little stars or uh, blocks that means here that in these areas we have found uh, autochthonous cases and then after I will explain what is the hypothesis or what is the explanation of this uh, presence of autochthonous cases in these areas. Related to the vector, in general, in a global uh, uh, way of talking, we can say that uh, there is an increase of the sunfly densities uh, due to the global warming of course, and uh, also it's important that the, the transmission period is being uh, longer. That means that uh, maybe before, like uh, let me just use uh, the example of Madrid area, that is a very endemic area for canine lesmaniosis. We had uh, just maybe um, the risk period was uh, just uh, concentrated in the months uh, in summer uh, time. So uh, the season was uh, mainly uh, represented by summertime, but uh, nowadays we have 
even not only three months, but even six or even eight months. That means that the transmission period has been uh, getting longer in the last uh, decade due to this uh, increasing of the presence of the sunflies uh, due to the global warming and the temperatures that are being higher and higher. Other uh, important aspects uh, related to the epidemiology of this infection is that uh, not only the dog is, uh, is the main reservoir actually uh, recognized. Uh, there are um, others, uh, new reservoirs that uh, are important uh, just because they are maybe maintaining the infection in, in the wildlife in some parts like in uh, rabbits, in hares, in, uh, in uh, other mammals like uh, in uh, in animals living in zoos or in, in different animal centers like uh, um, uh, big apes, like um, um, orangutans or uh, marsupials. So even in, in, in Madrid area where we have found these, these animals, these sick animals that uh, of course uh, were uh, living in an area uh, with a big uh, density or a high density of sunflies. So all of these aspects are changing the epidemiology of this, of this important uh, disease. And uh, uh, we are just uh, dealing with uh, these new, uh, new concepts, of course. 